Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? This was some goofy shit. So Alice is talking to her dead brother Mouse in this episode and she's like, you know what? I got an interesting plan. I'm going to unleash a bunch of bats on Gotham City so they can spread a plague and kill all these fucking humans. And then she's like, how does that sound, Mouse? And I was like, well, you don't sound like nothing to him. He's dead as fuck because you murdered him. And at this point, you could tell that Alice is completely unraveled. I feel like by Kate Kane being around, she had like a little smidget of goodness in her heart. But now she is just a goofy bitch. Like, let, let, let's be real. Like, she, I know she didn't think for a second that this plan was going to work. I mean, I feel like she just did it just to get attention because she misses her sister who might still be alive because they haven't found her body. And I was like, okay, so if she is alive, she just abandoned Gotham City like Batman. I was like, okay, let this goofy story continue. Back, back, back to the tokenized Batwoman. So Ryan Wilder... She's trying to get a job and stuff, but, you know, she did some time and stuff, and they're like, nah, we're not going to hire you. You know, you were a criminal and stuff. But she's like, I've gotten really good at reading people, and I know half a dozen martial arts. I was like, okay, so she can definitely kick some ass, right? That That's a positive. You know, if you're going to be the new Batwoman, you got to at least know how to throw some punches and shit. You can't be doing that shit that I saw in season one from Kay Kane, who's supposed to be the real Batwoman. That shit was sloppy. But yeah, um, I was okay. So she's struggling in her life. So she ends up talking to Luke Fox and she's like, hey, I got a great idea. How about I be the, like, I can be the new Batwoman. Because you got all these humans like up in arms and shit in Gotham City. They're like, we want the Bat. We want the Bat. And, you know, they gathered in large numbers and shit demanding Batwoman. Because, you know, the Crow security lit her ass up last season. And, you know, the citizens of Gotham, they haven't seen Kay Kane because... She's missing or dead or whatever the fuck is going on that allowed for this tokenized Batwoman to begin with. But yeah, um, Luke is like, uh, you're going to be Batwoman how? And then she's like, yeah, I could just be Batwoman, wear the costume. And the citizens of Gotham, they'll they'll embrace me. They'll be happy. They'll calm down. And he's like, hello, you're black. I, <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, that's a good point, Luke. Like, I guess she didn't think that shit through. They're going to see that she's black. Like, you know, the real Batwoman, she's not black. I'm just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> like, I thought it was funny that Luke said it. And what was even funnier was that, you know, once uh, Ryan Wilder, when she put on the Batwoman suit, she was on the roof. And then Kate Kane's father, the, like the boss of the Crow security, he uses his binoculars because, you know, he sees who he thinks is Batwoman, you know, which is his daughter, right? He's like, oh, hell yeah, my daughter's alive. He uses the binoculars, and the way that he lowers the binoculars when he sees that uh, this Ryan Wilder chick is wearing the outfit. He don't know it's Ryan Wilder, but he just knows it's a black chick, right? So the way he lowered the binoculars, he looked fucking angry and disappointed. He was like, get that imposter off the roof. It was the best moment in the whole episode. I was like... That's what I've been saying ever since I saw the trailer for this show. I was like, what fucking imposter is this? This ain't no bad woman. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah, this episode made me laugh. It's just some goofy ass shit. And Luke Fox is like, if you're going to be the new Batwoman, you got to follow the rules. No killing. And I was like, oh, boy, this shit is goofy as hell. And I was like, you know what? At least I wasn't bored. If you're going to give me a bad show at least make it funny. You know what I mean? Like call out all the fucking silliness that these writers have given us this season on Batwoman. So we shall see what happens with Ryan and Alice and all that stuff. They had a cute little fight scene on the roof that was supposed to be epic, but I was just like, if you had talented writers, it would have been. But instead, <laughs> instead we got this goofy shit. Hey, at least, <laughs> at least I'm laughing, right? That, that's That's got to be some kind of good thing, some kind of points, right? Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Get that imposter off the roof. It ain't no Batwoman. Terrence out.